Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We've got it. The transmission is coming to you. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines of the info war. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, filling in for Alex, but Alex is going to be joining us in the second hour, and we've got a lot to talk about. And there's been a lot of news, starting actually a little bit, about a week ago, a little bit uh, earlier than that. They started towards the end of the week, and we were supposed to have some kind of a terror incident that was going to happen last Sunday, if you remember. All the embassies were shut down worldwide. We were told that they didn't know exactly what it was going to be. We were told that uh, it was going to be very, very big. But they knew when it was going to be. So they were going to shut down all the embassies. They did that. But then, of course, last Sunday, it didn't happen. And so now they don't know what it's going to be, where it's going to be, when it's going to be. But it's going to be big. And, you know, there was a lot of, a lot of fun had with that. Stephen Colbert, all the late night talk show hosts, they all had a lot of fun with that. Colbert said, I hope your diapers are clean because we've just gone to code brown. And uh, they were, they were, and, and it really is pretty funny because nobody is buying their story anymore. And you know, the reason they did this was because they're trying to get back the fear mongering. Everything the government is doing to destroy this country's bill of rights, to destroy our legal framework is being done on the basis of fear. It's fear mongering. And so of course you have to be afraid, be very afraid. And people are not afraid of them. People are kind of, some people are waking up and understanding that they're shredding our constitution, that they're looking at us personally. And so a lot of people are pushing back against that. We're gonna talk about that today. We're also gonna talk about some news that broke during the week and towards the end of the week about Austin specifically. We learned in the middle of the week that Austin was going to be the site of a lot of DHS drills for quite some time from Homeland Security. And then towards the end of the week on Thursday, we received a specific memo that was leaked internally to InfoWars about a planned terror incident, a suspected terror incident. And we'll talk about that in detail. And we'll talk about what happened in that. And we'll also talk, uh, we've got a man on the street, Leanne McAdoo went out and talked to residents in Austin, see what they thought about these DHS drills, see what they thought about this memo that implied uh, very specific times here in Austin that there may be attacks. We're also gonna talk about some Obamacare information. We just had uh, Representative Louis Gohmert have a back and forth with George Will as to what really is the responsibility of the Congress. Are they supposed to be a rubber stamp to whatever the government says? Is it bad politics to follow the Constitution? Well, according to George Will, it is. So we're going to have that back and forth. That's, that's very good. I, I think you'll want to hear that, hear what we have to say about that. And of course, the ad hominem attacks on Edward Snowden are picking up. And his father and his lawyer, Bruce Fine, who, as you remember, was part of the Ron Paul campaign. Bruce Fine is an excellent constitutional lawyer, really knows the Constitution, and unlike a lot of other people, he respects it. So he not only knows what it is, but respects it. And he was on the talk show circuits talking about what was going to happen with Snowden. And of course, all of the congressmen here are trying to make this about Snowden. They're trying to go after, make it an ad hominem attack on him personally. You know, this really isn't about Snowden. This is about the illegal criminal actions of the NSA that he exposed, but they don't talk about that. So we're gonna, but we're gonna talk about that when we come back. And you know, there's some interesting news that just broke today about honey. That's right. When we look at big pharma, we look at some of the awful, harmful things that are coming out of the pharmaceutical companies, and we look at their stranglehold on medicine that they get by using the government, by the influence that they purchase through the government. It's amazing to see natural things. Now they have a super honey. This is being reported in the Mail Online that has an amazing power to treat soldiers' wounds and kill superbug infections. They say that uh, Dr. Matthew Dryden, a consultant microbiologist at the New Hampshire Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust, said it will revolutionize wound care around the world. He said honey has been used for healing powers for thousands of years, although doctors favor penicillin and antibiotics. Now they find that this is much better, even treating wounds of returning soldiers. All I can say is sweet. But we're going to talk about that. And, you know, we should take a look at 
some things like medical marijuana. It has some very important, unique properties, but of course, nobody controls the patents to it, so it's demonized. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Protecting your home with a security system is a must. But when it comes to protecting your family, your home, and belongings, there's no need to sign a long-term contract. Listen, there was some real scum in the alarm business cashing in by locking you into long, punishing contracts. Not with Simply Safe Home Security. They're the good guys. You can trust Simply Safe to protect your family. Simply Safe was created by a Harvard Business School engineer, and it's revolutionary. You'll get 24-hour protection for just $14.99 a month. There are no hidden fees and no contracts. You'll save thousands. Plus, you're protected by their 100% money-back guarantee. Protect yourself against home invasions and break-ins. Order your Simply Safe system now and receive a wireless keychain remote, a $25 gift, free. So don't waste your time dealing with scum. Visit GetSimplySafe.com. 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 From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. Alex will be joining us in the second hour. We're going to talk about some of the fear-mongering tactics that have been used in the last week by our government, trying to get everybody afraid, afraid and running to them for protection, afraid and telling them, do whatever you need to do to us, just make us safe. Destroy the Constitution, destroy our property, we don't care. Uh, just, just make us safe in this is very pathetic, very pathetic situation. And, and we got some men on the street to, to back that up. Uh, Leanne McAdoo went out and talked to some people about what they thought about some of the revelations that were going on in and around Austin specifically. So we're going to uh, cover that. But first, there's some breaking news that uh, came out of Breitbart and Fox News talking about a sudden flood of asylum requests at the U.S.-Mexico border. It appears that the U.S. border with Mexico is now kind of operating like a speakeasy. If you come up and you say the proper magic words, you can get in. No problem. And uh, those magic words are that you have a credible fear of drug cartels. Well, we're all afraid of the drug cartels. We're afraid of what they're doing to our country. We're afraid of the crime as well as the destruction of the Constitution that's been going on for decades under the war on drugs. The war on drugs started with Richard Nixon. Ronald Reagan put it on steroids, made it a no uh, zero tolerance law, filled up the prisons with nonviolent offenders, and then started releasing violent criminals into society because they couldn't build the prisons fast enough. And so as a result of the war on drugs, we now have a larger prison population than communist China or the Soviet Union ever did. And of course, that's an absolute numbers, and that's not even in terms of a percentage even though China has many times the number of people we do in a very authoritarian regime, it is nothing like the United States in terms of prison population. And most of the people are there because of drug offenses, because of their drug users. And most of the drug users are marijuana users, even though marijuana has many beneficial side effects. We were just talking before the break about a super honey that uh, has been bioengineered called Surge Honey. And it's capable of stopping some of the superbugs that have been fatal, as well as cutting the number of infections by cesarean sections in half. There are very effective natural products out there. But unfortunately, we don't get to use many of those like marijuana, medical marijuana, because that's not owned by large pharmaceutical companies who essentially control the FDA, control our government to get the sorts of things pushed through that they want to have through there. Well, now... I want to turn now to the fear-mongering that's been happening this last week. Uh, you may remember that this all came about last Sunday. We started hearing it was actually going to happen last Sunday. There was going to be some very, very big terrorist event. We, they started telling us about it on Thursday or Friday, and they were shutting down the embassies all over the world. And it was ridiculed, rightfully so, because A, it didn't happen. B, it was very nonspecific. We were just told it was going to be big. And we were only told that it was going to specifically happen last Sunday. And when it didn't happen last Sunday, 
they extended it for weeks and they extended it to the entire world and they shut down the embassies. But listen to the way they pushed it on last week's ABC News, the, the morning ABC News show this week with George Stephanopoulos. This is the way this thing started. Now, they, now remember that this is their introduction to the news and they started out with dramatic dramatic music and B-rolls of jets flying around and shots of uh, bullseyes and, and sounds of computers beeping and that sort of thing that they're really busy. It's very, very dramatic. And what they said is this. There is a worldwide alert. We have breaking details this morning on that terror threat. New concerns about that risk to the homeland. Plus, the fresh intelligence that has officials so spooked and so convinced Al-Qaeda may be poised to strike. Then, our exclusive interview with the president's top military advisor, will Edward Snowden's secrets end up in enemy hands? That's ABC News. I just, that's verbatim what they said on their intro to their news last Sunday. Think about this. You know, every, first of all, whenever they start talking about risks to the homeland, I mean, doesn't that just make you want to gag? I mean, it sounds like the Nazi fatherland. I am so sick of hearing that phrase that George Bush coined. And then they talk about Ed Snowden's secrets. You know what? They're not Ed Snowden's secrets. They're your secrets. They're your secret correspondence, your private papers, information about your personal business uh, uh, occupation, what you're doing financially. Al-Qaeda doesn't want to know that. You know, Al-Qaeda doesn't want to know where you, how much money you made, where you made it. Al-Qaeda doesn't want to know if there's something in your life where you can be blackmailed with. And, you know, Al-Qaeda is not afraid of the Tea Party movement or the Occupy movement, but Washington is. And that's why they're mining and collecting all of your data. And that's why we've got the situation that we've got here. The government wants to know all of those things about you. And what we want is for the American people, and this is what was valuable about Edward Snowden. He was trying to wake the American people up. He was a whistleblower. And, you know, there's nobody listening to the whistles in Washington. But hopefully, some of the people in the public are going to listen to some of those whistles. You know, we had whistleblowers right after 9-11. We had uh, uh, Benny. We had Drake. We had NSA employees who were complaining about the fact that the NSA was violating what was then the law. Uh, even though I would say it violated the Constitution, they had a law so they could not listen to domestic conversations unless those Americans were talking to somebody in foreign countries. Well, they went through the whole procedure internally of being whistleblowers, and they were totally ignored. As a matter of fact, they came after Drake. Even though he followed all the procedures for whistleblowers, they came after him and tried to put him in jail. He did beat the charges, but nobody heard any of that. People have heard what Edward Snowden is saying. So they're trying to make it about Edward Snowden. It's a where is Waldo type of thing. They're looking all over the world to see where Edward Snowden is. Is Edward Snowden going to come back to the United States? Is Edward Snowden going to stand trial? Can he get a fair trial? All this sort of thing. Is he a patriot or not? You know, we had Obama say um, that uh, Ed Snowden was not a patriot. And his father on today's news show fired back and he said, my son has spoken the truth and has sacrificed more than even the president of the United States. That's very true. You know, the president of the United States has not even spoken the truth. And he hasn't sacrificed anything except your liberties. And he's done it in the name of security. You will never, never get liberty by giving up your security. The only way that you're ever going to have any security is when you have personal liberty. Those two cannot be separated. The government can destroy both of those, but they cannot separate those. You can never, it is not a trade-off between liberty and security. It is a trade-off between liberty and slavery. Slavery masquerading as security. That's what they're offering us. And we've got, uh, I don't think we've got enough time here. Do we have enough time for, the, uh, for Leanne's report here before the break? I don't think we do. Um, yeah, we do. Yeah, let's, let's run that. Okay, we're going we're gonna to run that right after we come back. But, you know, McCain is also concerned about this. He says that young Americans are looking at Snowden and they see him like some kind of a Jason Bourne. You know, <laughs> what do we see... John McCain as, you know, is he kind of a, uh, I, I say him as kind of like this uh, strange James Bond villain with a sidekick, Lindsey Graham, always uh, following along with him like some kind of a uh, simpering sidekick. The two of them never saw any violation of our constitutional rights that they didn't cheerlead. And we've got to worry about the fact, that Obama says, you shouldn't be worried about all these powers that we've taken because look, I haven't used them. Well, yes, he has. 
The truth is he has used these powers. And the truth is, is that they're setting up the perfect legal framework for tyranny. A tyranny that is going to be very horrible to live under. And we need to say that the time for this is over. We need to push back against this. We've got people, both Democrats and Republicans, we've got Jimmy Carter saying that the U.S. is no longer a functioning democracy. We've got a retired New Hampshire senator saying essentially the same thing, writing letters to Ed Snowden saying that he's very concerned that everything is focused on Snowden and nothing has focused on reforming the NSA. And that's exactly what we see from ABC News when they start going through this, when they start talking about Ed Snowden's secrets. And will they end up in enemy hands? You know, Al-Qaeda and China and Russia have always known that the government is watching the phone lines. The people who don't know about it are the general public. And they're the ones that we need to try to reach, that we need to try to get to understand what a problem this is. We're going to be right back and we're going to take a look at some of the attitudes of those people on the streets of Austin. Stay tuned. Introducing Pro One, all of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Cal Bend Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soap that is triple concentrated and made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils. See them on the web, www.5starsoap.com or call 1-800-340-7091 for a free catalog and buy American-made products. Order the sampler, a one to two month supply or get a one to two year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. You're getting soap products twice as good as what you're using now. This is an amazing deal, and you will love the way real soap makes your skin feel. Call 1-800-340-7091 or visit www.5starsoap.com. Alex and his staff have used these earth-friendly, pure soaps for years. See them on the web, www.5starsoap.com or call 1-800-340-7091 for a catalog. Every three seconds, someone becomes a victim of identity theft. We also hear news stories every day about the NSA spying on U.S. citizens. It is now more important than ever to protect yourself and your information on the web. PrivateInternetAccess.com is a virtual private network service that can encrypt your internet connection while hiding your IP address. Their service also provides firewall protection in order to prevent data mining and unwanted exposure. They keep no records of your web browsing history. PrivateInternetAccess.com is an American company that understands you need to protect your inalienable rights. Private Internet Access does not even log any of your traffic, period. Privacy is their number one policy. You can use their service anywhere with an Internet connection. And with one account, you can protect up to five devices at the same time. Go to PrivateInternetAccess.com right now in order to secure the privacy of you and your loved ones. Don't wait and allow you and your family to become victims. Visit PrivateInternetAccess.com today. Dozens of diseases ranging from the common cold and flu to MRSA and pneumonia are all caused by infectious pathogens. Fortunately, a simple, safe, and effective alternative exists. Supernatural Silver is a new and vastly improved type of silver solution that is safe and extremely effective against 143 types of bacteria, both forms of viruses, mold and yeast, and a limited number of parasites. It can even purify water. Supernatural Silver comes in both liquid and gel for internal or external use. With over 180 scientific studies by independent universities, hospitals, research institutions, and nursing homes, 
Supernatural Silver is a powerful weapon in the fight against disease. To see how Supernatural Silver can give you and your loved ones protection and peace of mind, go to SupernaturalSilver.com. Use the promo code PROTECTED for 20% off and like us on Facebook. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. Infoworth.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. Alex will be joining us in the second hour, and we're going to be talking about some of the terror alerts that have been happening worldwide and some specific information about Austin. You know, we had, in the middle of the week, it broke that they were going to be running DHS drills throughout Austin for the se next several weeks. And then on Thursday, we got a memo that was uh, actually, that was released to uh, InfoWars. And um, it said, this is from the uh, Texas Military Forces and J3 Protection Branch. It said, unconfirmed reporting from the Department of Homeland Security has raised the possibility of random terrorist attacks taking place in Austin, Texas, on or about the 8th or 9th of August. That would have been last Thursday, last Friday. According to anonymous reporting, a group of trained terrorists are planning to conduct attacks in Austin, Texas, and Pasadena, California, at the conclusion of Ramadan. Additionally, the group plans to attack a school and theological seminary in downtown Austin area and complete the attack with operations at the Austin Bergstrom International Airport. The reporting also stated that if 8th through 9th of August was not a viable option, then the group would conduct operations on the 29th of August. And so the question was, when we reported this, and of course, we were not going to just sit by and not report that. The question was, is this just a document that is fear-mongering inside of the police, or is this something that's like a false flag preparation? Because we know that there are drills going in place, and if you know anything about the history of terrorist events, you know that the big ones have always been accompanied by drills happening at exactly the same time, at exactly the same place, with exactly the same scenario. These are false flag attacks. False flag attacks like September 11th. False flag attacks like the 7-7 bombing. And on and on. We see this pattern repeating over and over again. They keep doing it because people are not waking up to the tactic. And they keep doing it because it's a very effective strategy for them. It allows them to essentially have a cover if they're caught. So, you know, not everybody in the government is in on a false flag terrorist attack. But the people, the few people who are, if they are caught, they can always say that it is part of a drill. Now, for more information about this and also to see what people in Austin thought about this, Leanne McAdoo went to the streets and we have this special report. A force protection alert was released to the media by accident this week. What they didn't want us to know was that they were letting the Texas military forces know that a possible terrorist threat is set to take place this weekend in Austin on 6th Street. It's one of our busiest streets here in the city. They say that it's uh, going to probably coincide with the end of Ramadan and that it'll be backpack-style bombs. Uh, we all are quite aware of quite a few instances where there have been drills going on at the same time as terrorist activity. So we're going to go check with Austin citizens and see, do they think this is a false flag? Is this legit? Are they still going to go out and party? Is Al-Qaeda here in Austin? Who knew? What do you think about the uh, possible terror threat that's supposed to happen today on 6th Street? That's a little scary. No concern at all. Why not? Why not? Well, we have officials and law enforcement in place to handle that sort of thing. No, I never heard of first time. That doesn't frighten you? No. Doesn't concern you? Did you hear about it? No. Well, I hope that's not true. Wherever you are nowadays, you have to use some caution and common sense. And like they always say, go with your gut feeling and re report suspicious activity. So it doesn't concern me as much as it would most people. Did you hear about the Department of Homeland Security is going to be performing a lot of uh, terror drills in the next couple weeks in Austin? It's going to be increased military presence? No, I did not. 
they, they don't want news stations reporting going, look at all the military helicopters and everything so that the news stations know, oh, they're just doing drills. But what if something really does happen? Have you ever heard of um, the FBI doing false flag attacks to create terror events? No, I have not. No. Operation Gladio, Gulf of Tonkin, we went to war with Vietnam. I did hear about that, and I also heard about it when it happened in London as well, that there was training on that exact same day when the actual event happened. But coincidences happen, so, you know, I think coincidences are coincidences, and they happen inevitably. Uh, today we were running an exercise for a company, and the most peculiar thing was we based our scenario on the simultaneous attacks on the underground and mainline station. So we had to suddenly switch an exercise from fictional to real. Just to get this right, you were actually working today on an exercise that envisioned yes. virtually this scenario. Uh, almost precisely. Drills on the same day that 9-11 happened, it was uh, all the planes um, that were flying, they were doing drills of that exact same scenario of a terror attack taking place by people plying, flying planes into buildings on 9-11. No, I didn't know that. I'm not a real conspiracy theorist. This is an article out of USA Today, and this report came out on April 19th, 2004. NORAD had drills early like September 11th, Pentagon Trade Center, among imagined targets. They were doing a drill in the exact same area on that day. That's a, that's a fact. That's not a theory. Yeah, I know that's a fact. What do you think? Uh, now I'm thinking they're probably trying to say it's a drill so they don't scare the citizens. What was the school shooting recently, that, that one? Sandy Hook. They were, they were like within 20 miles. Right, they were also doing a drill. Yeah, and that's kind of... Of a school shooter. Exactly, exactly. That was, that's weird. Well, what would you think if you saw a military helicopters and guys jumping out of planes and got tanks coming with guns? Because that's what is happening here over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I'd be getting, I'd be running the other way. That's what would scare me. I really don't, I'm, I don't, it's not my, I'm not concerned. It doesn't bother me. That's out of my hands, you know, that's, I leave it to my military or my president, I guess. All right, well, it seems like a few people were concerned with the terror threat and the homeland security exercises that are going to be taking place in Austin throughout the weekend and over the next couple of weeks. But most people, they're all right with the huge military presence in our town if it means they're going to be safe. For the InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Leanne McAdoo. Well, that's a great report from our reporter, Leanne McAdoo, out on the street. Now, you notice that one of the fellows said, yeah, he, he knew about the fact that they had a drill going on at the same time, uh, and he thought that was an interesting coincidence. But it's a coincidence that keeps happening over and over again. How many times do they have to do the same thing before you think that it's more than just a blind coincidence? It's more than just a blind coincidence that uh, they had people doing exactly the same thing on 7-7 and exactly the same scenario with NORAD told to stand down. They have transcripts where they went into uh, NORAD and they were confused. They didn't know if the real events were the drill or if it was real because they had the scenario matched what they had been told was going to be the drill so exactly and that's part of the effect it causes the real people the real responders people who would really do something to stop it it causes them to hesitate because they think it's a drill and it also gives an alibi to them but there are other incidences like operation gladio operation northwoods if you look that up these are things that have been out there for decades operation northwoods was proposed Back in the 60s, that's been declassified. It was actually a plot by the American government to fly planes into buildings, to explode bombs in public areas, and then blame it on the enemy at that time, which was Castro. We're going to be right back. Stay tuned. This is something that really needs to be brought to the public's awareness. They need to wake up to this technique. Are we choosing our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? As we've moved through history, every great leader has had to understand the potential of information. Billions of dollars have been spent privately and publicly looking at how to 
tap into your psyche. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. When somebody obscures that feedback loop between you observing and testing it out and verifying it, they can take total control of your awareness. All of this is happening so fast, you need to be ahead of the game. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would not only endorse but demand a war. Right Other than another one, another plane just hit. State of mind, because there's a war on for your mind. Get your copy of State of Mind the Movie at InfoWars.com. And remember, every order at InfoWarsStore.com receives a free citizen rulebook. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Cal Bend Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soap that is triple concentrated and made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils. See them on the web, www.5starsoap.com or call 1-800-340-7091 for a free catalog and buy American-made products. Order the sampler, a one to two month supply or get a one to two year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. You're getting soap products twice as good as what you're using now. This is an amazing deal, and you will love the way real soap makes your skin feel. Call 1-800-340-7091 or visit www.5starsoap.com. Alex and his staff have used these earth-friendly pure soaps for years. See them on the web, www.5starsoap.com or call 1-800-340-7091 for a catalog. Protecting your home with a security system is a must. But when it comes to protecting your family, your home, and belongings, there's no need to sign a long-term contract. Listen, there is some real scum in the alarm business cashing in by locking you into long, punishing contracts, not with Simply Safe Home Security. They're the good guys. You can trust Simply Safe to protect your family. Simply Safe was created by a Harvard Business School engineer, and it's revolutionary. You'll get 24 hour protection for just $14.99 a month. There are no hidden fees and no contracts. You'll save thousands, plus, you're protected by their 100% money back guarantee. Protect yourself against home invasions and break ins. Order your Simply Safe system now and receive a wireless keychain remote, a $25 gift, free. So don't waste your time dealing with scum. Visit GetSimplySafe.com. 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 Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Thomas Jefferson. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. Alex is going to be joining us in the second hour. But if you'd like to call in the show, our number is 877-789-2539. We're going to be taking calls. That number again is 877-789-2539. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of the show about a new surgical honey. I wanted to make a correction about that. That was actually something that was tested in Hampshire hospitals. That would be, the, that I mentioned it as being New Hampshire. It was actually the old Hampshire, the Hampshire in England. And uh, it's in the... Uh, the British National Health System, 
was actually testing this. It's a surgical honey. They call it surgical honey. They say it is bioengineered. So I don't know how that differs from regular honey. They say that uh, honey, to some extent, has been used for quite some time to treat wounds. But something else has been used for quite some time to treat wounds has been silver. And, you know, that's available to you now. The surgical honey is not available, uh, but silver is. And you can get new supernatural silver. It's a safe and effective means of killing pathogens where antibiotics and other drugs fail because, you know, they're using antibiotics so often that uh, bugs are building up an immunity to it. But silver is something that has always been very effective in terms of treating wounds, in terms of helping to kill bacteria to aid healing. If you want more information about how Supernatural Silver can protect you and your family, go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code Alex Says. that's A-L-E-X-S-A-Y-S, and get 20% off. Now, we were just talking before the break about these terror alerts. And um, it's kind of interesting because people don't really think about what's going on with the NSA. A lot of people are outraged about what's going on. There's some people who are informed, some early adopters, but the general public just doesn't see what's going on. There was a comedian that we had, and uh, what was the guy's name again, guys? I can't remember his, uh, his name. We showed this video where he was going around, and he had a set of headphones, and he had a mic on a boom, and he would walk over and put it over people's heads. And uh, he, would, he would tell them, uh, and, and basically like he's recording them, and he's in a black suit, like uh, Men in Black, and he's got uh, sunglasses on, like he's some kind of an intelligence agent. And people were immediately taken back because they could see what was happening. They don't see when their email is being intercepted, when it's being stored, when it's being data mined. They don't see when this type of stuff is happening, and they don't think there's anything they should really get afraid of. But you know... Tom Mabe, yeah, that's a comedian. It was a really funny piece. And, you know, it, was a, it was showed how comedy and satire can really wake people up to a truth. I mean, it was very, very effective. But people look at this and they say, well, I, I don't have anything to hide. I don't care if the IRS is uh, looking at my, or the NSA is looking at my stuff. Well, actually, there's some breaking news here about the uh, IRS is now targeting small businesses. And one of the ways that they're doing it is with data mining. Small business owners across the country are receiving letters from the IRS questioning if they're reporting all their cash income. It's a new push by the agency that some are saying could unnecessarily create fear in the small business community. Oh, the IRS would never want to create fear, would they? <laughs> I mean, they basically feed off of it like vampires feed off of blood. I mean, the IRS is all about fear. Um, but anyway, what they're doing is they're, they're sending out these letters that are not audit letters, but they're saying it's a notification of possible income reporting. Now, a, uh, an accountant says, uh, this is Fran Coet, who's um, quoted in the article uh, by the Wall Street Journal, says, there are many reasons why, even if you're the most honest taxpayer, you're not going to match what credit card records show. Because, for example, she says, when a company sells a gift card, it does not count for accounting purposes as a sale at that time. They don't count it as a sale in most accounting systems until that card is actually cashed in and something is purchased with it. But according to the credit card companies, it shows up as a sale. It shows up as income to those, uh, to those businesses. So the IRS comes in and says there's a discrepancy. Even if that's all there is to it, you still have to take time out of your business. You've got to pay an accountant. You've got to do it yourself if you're a very small business. You've got to take the time to go and prove your innocence to the IRS because you are, of course, guilty if they accuse you of something. You don't have the presumption of innocence. They don't have to prove that a crime has been committed. You have to prove to them that a crime hasn't been committed. The IRS, the EPA, the DEA, all these agencies, they have basically turned our form of government on its head. You're presumed to be guilty until you prove your innocence. That's basically the presumption that the TSA has. You're all guilty. You're all terrorists until you let them stick their hands down your pants, which presumably proves that you are now innocent even though maybe you've lost your innocence at that point. You know, the purpose of the IRS has always been about fear-mongering. The purpose of the IRS has never been about generating revenue. It's always been about controlling you. And, of course, the money that the IRS gets is money that just pays the interest on the national debt. That was proven by the Reagan administration's Grace Commission, and it is no coincidence that the IRS was created at the same time the Federal Reserve was. Basically, the United States has been on an interest-only note payment to the big banks for about 100 years now. And we're going to see if uh, they're going to call the note or not. Um, but it's not just these types of things. It's not just the fear-mongering that the government is doing. 
Look at this new crime wave that the FBI admitted this last week. News of a new crime wave broke this week. A criminal organization admitted that it committed over 5,600 crimes in a year. Violent crimes, drug manufacturing and trafficking, and political corruption. That criminal organization, the FBI. In a story reported by USA Today, licensed criminals, FBI informants authorized to break the law 5,600 times in one year. They reported in at least 5,658 cases in a single year alone, the FBI authorized its informants to commit crimes varying from selling drugs to plotting robberies, according to a copy of the FBI report obtained by USA Today. After much redacting by the authorities, the watered-down FBI's 2011 report obtained under the Freedom of Information Act has revealed that agents had been authorizing 15 crimes a day on average in order to get the necessary information from their informants. The document does not indicate the severity of the crimes authorized by the agency, nor does it include material about violations that were committed without the government's permission. It just cites a number of 5,658 Tier 1 and Tier 2 infractions committed by criminals to help the Bureau battle crime. This is what the FBI says without any sense of irony, what would otherwise be illegal activities. And of course the ATF and the DEA admit to doing the same thing, but they say they have no idea how many incidents happened. What are Tier 1 crimes? According to the Department of Justice, misdemeanors or felonies under federal, state, or local law if, quote, engaged in by a person acting without authorization, unquote, including acts of violence, corrupt conduct by senior federal, state, or local public officials, or the manufacturing, importing, exporting, possession, or trafficking in controlled substances of certain quantities. A convicted pimp, extortionist, car thief, and all-around thug. But an ABC News investigation found that Manny Shapayev is not in prison for life, but living a life of luxury and fast cars in Florida, thanks to his work as a government witness and FBI informant. An allegation that Shapayev's FBI agent handler not only tried to interfere in the murder investigation, but took lavish gifts and cash. The FBI supervisor over this says, it sounds like a lot, but you have to keep that in context. So what is the context? As far as drug trafficking, we know that poppy production in Afghanistan for three years in a row has broken previous record productions. Afghanistan under U.S. occupation has gone from providing 10% of the world's supply to 90%. Put another way, since U.S. occupation, drug production is 40 times higher, and that translates to 1 million additional deaths have these opium fields and we are tolerating it we are tolerating the cultivation of the opium the dilemma it is with the opium trade and they make so much money off the opium and just yesterday news broke that the u.s air force transported 24 tons of cocaine from costa rica to miami with a stop along the way in nicaragua just like when reagan was funding the contras with cocaine so much for the war on drugs which is actually a war of drugs a war conducted by the federal government against the american people and against our rights where they manufacture and ship in. Well, that's part of the report. You can see that full report on the nightly news. You can see it on the archives on Prison Planet TV. You can also see it on YouTube. We'll be right back. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese when you visit InfoWarsHealth.com. Be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. 
With over 3,000 years of historic use, Pure Silver continues to be one of nature's most reliable and effective agents against fighting viruses, mold, fungus, bacteria, pathogens, and parasites. At Silver Lungs, we have developed a reliable and easy to use full production system for creating endless pure nano silver solutions right from the convenience and comfort of your home. Your self-produced nano silver solutions can be applied topically to the skin. For many who are new to silver that wish to try silver for the first time, we offer a full line of consumables and cosmetics, such as our 2-ounce nano silver nasal sprays, our nano silver soap, and our most popular product, the all-natural nano silver gel. Visit www.silverlungs.com to learn more about the industry-leading technology of the Silver Lungs system. That's www.silverlungs.com. There is a false sense of security that the greatest economic crash since the Great Depression is over. But unemployment is still at a 20-year high, and until Americans are working again, the economy has not recovered. What is the smartest investment you can make? It's food. Having a supply of eFoods Direct 25-year shelf life food is your best investment for the troubled times today and the future. For 32 years, the folks at eFoods Direct have helped thousands take the trouble out of troubled times. So to celebrate our 32-year anniversary, get the best insurance possible with a special one-time offer. A two-month food supply for only $320 and free shipping. That's 352 servings of our newest and most popular award-winning recipes at less than a dollar per serving. The 25-year shelf life allows you to lock your food cost against inflation. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. The two-month supply is only available for a limited time. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Dozens of diseases ranging from the common cold and flu to MRSA and pneumonia are all caused by infectious pathogens. Fortunately, a simple, safe, and effective alternative exists. Supernatural Silver is a new and vastly improved type of silver solution that is safe and extremely effective against 143 types of bacteria, both forms of viruses, mold and yeast, and a limited number of parasites. It can even purify water. Supernatural Silver comes in both liquid and gel for internal or external use. With over 180 scientific studies by independent universities, hospitals, research institutions, and nursing homes, Supernatural Silver is a powerful weapon in the fight against disease. To see how Supernatural Silver can give you and your loved ones protection and peace of mind, go to SupernaturalSilver.com. Use the promo code PROTECTED for 20% off and like us on Facebook. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. Alex will be joining us in the next hour. We're going to be talking about some of the developments that happened this last week in the war on terror. Now, we were just playing before the break. We were playing a special report. It was about a, uh, I think it was last Monday that USA Today broke this story. Basically, there were 5,600 crime incidents in 2011 that the FBI admitted were conducted by, or allowed to be conducted by informants and their program. Now, these were serious crimes. These are Tier 1 and Tier 2. Tier 1 crimes are things like violent crime, corruption of political officials, as well as the manufacturing and trafficking of drugs. And in that special report, we talked about how, and Alex has mentioned this many times, but you can see the clips from, uh, it was Geraldo Rivera who went to Afghanistan and was talking about what a dilemma. You know, they've got this, this tough thing. They, they don't like uh, poppy seeds, but there's just so much money in it. So they're allowing the farmers to do this. But we know that once NATO forces got there, the Taliban had not been dealing drugs. The Taliban had been stopping the production of poppies. It had gone down to only 10% of the world's supply. After NATO got there, now for the last three years, we've had record production of poppy in Afghanistan under NATO supervision and with NATO assistance. And with the 
CIA running it, being one of the biggest drug smugglers and mafia organizations in the world. They now have gone from 10% of the world's population uh, production of poppies to 90% of the world's production of poppy, which is used to make heroin and other types of drugs like that. And then cocaine. We had 24 tons of cocaine being flown in from Costa Rica this last week. And the Costa Rica, Costa Rica government was complaining about that. The Americans just kind of came in and commandeered it. They flew it in. They didn't file any paperwork saying that it was destroyed. And coincidentally, they stopped in Nicaragua. Remember when they used cocaine trafficking to fund their secret Contra wars? The Reagan administration? The big drug warriors? The zero tolerance Reagan administration? Remember when they did that? This is the kind of corruption that leads us to call this a war of drugs. And we have many former law enforcement agents as well as retired prosecutors who are speaking out against that, who are talking about the corruption and talking about how prohibition simply does not work. It doesn't get rid of it any more than alcohol prohibition did. So regardless of the negative consequences of these drugs, and we're not saying that cocaine and heroin are good things. We're just saying that once you start prohibition, you now have the same problems that you did before and another whole set of problems in terms of drug cartels being built up in Mexico, throughout Central and South America, throughout Afghanistan. You have this secret funding that is going on for all kinds of terrorist organizations. You have corruption of the government in all these different countries, including the United States. All of that is happening. All of those are byproducts of prohibition, regardless of the of, of how bad these substances are. Now, we see that there's real fear in the government. There's real fear that people are losing their confidence in the stories that the government's been telling us about the war on terror, about the war on drugs. And uh, one of the persons who is really concerned about that, of course, is Senator McCain, who basically makes his entire, has built his entire career on fear-mongering. And he's very concerned. He says that uh, right now, there's a kind of generational change. Young Americans do not trust this government. And without trusting government, you can't do a lot of things. That's exactly right, Senator McCain. We're trying to get people to wake up to the scam that you've been running so they don't blindly trust your lies, so that there's a lot of things that you've been doing that are killing people, that are violating the Constitution, that are destroying the fundamental legal groundwork of this country, you and Lindsey Graham, and we're going to wake people up to that. We're going to get people to understand that they can't trust what you're saying. They can't trust this uh, fear-mongering that you're creating. That was one of the things in the report, talking about the war on terror that we didn't get to, and that is the dictionary definition of terrorism. The dictionary definition of terrorism is using fear and terror to achieve political goals. Now, if that's not what the government is doing, what are they doing? I mean, everything that has happened in the last week with all of these bogus uh, warnings about somewhere, somewhere in the world, we don't know when, we don't know where, we don't know how, but it's going to be really, really big, and you should all be very much afraid because the government is going to be there to protect you. That is nothing but terrorism. It's a kind of, if you want to call it a soft kind of terrorism, uh, but it is still a form of propaganda. It's a form of terrorism. And it's all being done to try to keep people from being concerned about these violations of their fundamental rights being done by the NSA. And now, of course, we've been told all along that there's a lot of oversight about this and we really shouldn't be worried about it. Let's listen to what uh, President Obama just told us this last week in a press conference. Having said that, though, if you are outside of the intelligence community, if you are the ordinary person and you start seeing a bunch of headlines saying, you know, U.S., big brother, looking down on you, collecting telephone records, etc., well, understandably, people would be concerned. I would be, too, if I wasn't uh, inside the government. <laughs> We should just blindly trust him, shouldn't we? You know, the founders had a response to that. They knew that people were going to come along and, and try to get dictatorial powers, and they were going to say, just trust us. And they said, put no trust in man, but bind them down with the chains of the Constitution. Now, one of the ways that they tell us that we're supposed to trust them is they say, oh, we've got congressional oversight. That also would not be true. They would be lying about that as well. 
Glenn Greenwald reported last week with The Guardian. He said members of Congress have been denied access to basic information about the NSA. We've got a couple of congressmen here that are complaining about this. They say these programs are subject, sub subject to congressional oversight and congressional reauthorization and congressional debate, said the president. However, members of Congress are unaware of the very existence of these programs and two members of the House, a GOP member and a Democrat member. That would, the GOP would be Morgan Griffith of Virginia. The Democrat would be Representative Alan Grayson of Florida. They have provided The Guardian with numerous letters and emails documenting their persistent but unsuccessful efforts to learn about these NSA programs and about relevant FISA court rulings. Now, the simple fact of the matter is we have a secretive court like a star chamber that is making these secretive rulings that even the congressmen cannot see. However, we do know that some of these FISA rulings have ruled that what the government is doing, what the NSA is doing, is not even allowed. So this is a secretive court that doesn't have a jury. It doesn't have an oppositional uh, dynamic to it like a real court would have. And, of course, they believe that they're coming up with decisions that alter our Constitution. Now, even the real Supreme Court doesn't have that power, but they believe that's what they're doing. And yet, we're not allowed to see those decisions. The Congress is not even allowed to see those decisions. And yet, we're supposed to blindly trust Obama in this. This is absolutely amazing. These are repealing fundamental structures that have been put in place going back to the Middle Ages in English and American traditional common law. And the, this fundamental legal structure is being destroyed in the name of protecting us, in the name of saying that uh, we're going to keep you safe. And one of the ways that they put this in this article where they're quoting uh, John McCain, this was from the Washington Times, they said the NSA's data collection efforts have led to a debate on national security versus privacy. That is not, that is not the opposition there. That is not the dynamic. You don't have a trade-off between national security and privacy. There isn't some kind of zero-sum game here. If you don't have privacy, you are going to become a slave. So the question is between privacy and slavery. Do you understand? It's privacy versus slavery, not privacy versus security. If you give up your freedoms and your constitutional guarantees of protection of innocent, of innocent until proven guilty, due process, all of these things, having an open trial or open proceedings instead of these secretive star chamber courts that nobody is allowed to see, if we go down that dark path, we may never come back as a country. Certainly not come back without some kind of a horrible revolution. This is the sort of thing that has been fought and won hundreds of years ago. And we're seeing these things falling very rapidly, like dominoes in America. All of our protections as citizens are being taken away. And, uh, of course, we're being told, like in Elysium, that uh, everything will be solved if you just become a citizen. You're going to get health care and all that sort of thing. Well, guess what? The people on the ground had Obamacare, as Rob Dew pointed out, but they didn't have anywhere near like the Obamacare the people in Elysium had. And we're going to talk about that right after we come back. So stay tuned. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. Alex is going to be joining us at the bottom of the hour. and We're going to be talking about uh, some of the terrorism that's being done by our government. And when I say terrorism being done by our government, what I mean is that they are using fear as a tactic to achieve political means. And that's exactly what this worldwide terror alert is. It's nothing but propaganda and terrorism. And we're going to be talking about that. And we're going to be talking specifically about some of the things that developed in Austin along that line this last week. Now, on the news show today earlier, there was an interesting exchange between a representative from Texas, Louis Gohmert, and who was a Republican, and between George Will about Obamacare. You know, there's been, there's been this internal debate in the Republicans about whether they should just go along with Obama and do whatever he says, or whether they should stand firm and try to defund this unconstitutional health care. And this is what was, this is the back and forth that happened on that program this morning. The fact is that this president has the power 
particularly mm -hmm. when as supported as this one is right. by the mainstream media, to set the narrative. And the narrative will be that the Republicans have chosen simply to cause mm -hmm. chaos. And I think it's a bad idea. Bad idea to, de to, to go down the line. You cannot govern this country from one half of one of our three branches of government. Okay. Even though we're one half of the legislating body that from which no spending occurs unless we agree, that that is a position that, that allows us to force others to adhere to the Constitution. We don't have to wait for the Supreme Court. We can force that. And we can say, you're going to abide by the Constitution, whether the Supreme Court gets it wrong or right. We have the ability to force respect for the law. You hear that? That's George Will saying it would basically be bad politics to fight Obama on this. And you had Louis Gohmert talk to him and say, you know, we're the branch of government. It's a system of checks and balances, George. You know, this is not about Obama being dictator. This is not about the Supreme Court being dictator. It's not even about the Congress, the Republican Congress, uh, the Republican House being a dictator. This is about a system of checks and balances. That system of checks and balances was put in place so that you wouldn't have a fundamental altering of the way this country was structured, so that you wouldn't violate the Constitution. And it's exactly what people in the House should be doing. They should be standing up. And you heard uh, Representative Gohmert say, regardless of whether the Supreme Court recognizes what's in the Constitution or not, we're going to stand by and we're going to do our duty. And spending bills do start in the House. They don't start with the Senate. They don't start with the president. They don't even start with the Supreme Court. And uh, I think if they start to do the right thing, if they start to stand up for the right thing, I think that's going to be a good thing for them politically. But whether it's a political suicide or, whether it's a, or, or whatever else, they have taken an oath to the Constitution. And fortunately, we do have some people who take that oath seriously. Unlike people like George Will, who, of course, he's not a congressman. I don't know if he's ever taken an oath to the Constitution, but he certainly doesn't care about it if it's going to get in the way of political calculations. Now, it's interesting to see what has happened with Obamacare. It was just uh, about a week and a half ago that they learned what was in it. Remember Nancy Pelosi said, we've got to pass it so we can find out what's in it? Well, they did find out what was in it. And what they found out, one of the things they found out, was that it was going to require that congressional members, as well as congressional staff, were going to have to buy Obamacare. They were going to have to get into this exchange. And it looked like uh, maybe that might be the golden, uh, the silver bullet that took this thing down, but it, it didn't really happen that way. Unfortunately, what they did was they just exempted themselves from that. Because, you know, if you look at the movie that just came out this last week, and Alex had a great review of Elysium, and one of the disappointing things about it was it kind of held out the whole idea of immigration and uh, citizenship and free health care as being the panacea. It was a very, very simplistic plot. But uh, that's not, it, they didn't really have the same kind of health care for the people on Earth that they did on Elysium. And you know where Elysium is? It's Washington, D.C. Those elite people have a very different kind of health care than the rest of us. We'll be right back. Protecting your home with a security system is a must. But when it comes to protecting your family, your home, and belongings, there's no need to sign a long-term contract. Listen, there is some real scum in the alarm business cashing in by locking you into long, punishing contracts, not with Simply Safe Home Security. They're the good guys. You can trust Simply Safe to protect your family. Simply Safe was created by a Harvard Business School engineer, and it's revolutionary. You'll get 24 hour protection for just $14.99 a month. There are no hidden fees and no contracts. You'll save thousands, plus, you're protected by their 100% money back guarantee. Protect yourself against home invasions and break ins. Order your Simply Safe system now and receive a wireless keychain remote, a $25 gift, free. So don't waste your time dealing with scum. Visit GetSimplySafe.com. GetSimplySafe.com. GetSimplySafe.com.
Angeles. Clone Radio. We play the songs that sound more like everyone else than anyone else. Clone. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. Alex is going to be joining us at the bottom of the hour. And we're going to be talking about some of the answers to 1984. I tell you what, 1984 is really closing in on us and closing in fast. We've got secret courts meeting with secret trials, having secret findings that they believe secretly alter the Constitution. This is a very dark time coming up if we don't do something about it. But I want to talk to some callers out there. We've got uh, Brendan in Wisconsin. Brendan, are you there? Okay. Before I get into the, before I get into the segment about uh, Snowden, I, I just want to say thanks for covering the uh, uh, Wisconsin singing. The Wisconsin Capitol can get you arrested because not <laughs> only can singing get you arrested, but up until last week, even if you sat there and watched it, you could get arrested. Well, you know, I got I got to say, Brendan, you know, the singing is nowhere listed in the Constitution. So, you know, how can that be protected, right? <laughs> right. Well, it reminds me of, the, of uh, Adam Kokos's uh, dance party at the Thomas Jefferson Memorial where dancing. Yeah. And what, to what degree, if you bob your head or if you're singing, is if you're humming, does that count as well? I, I, I'm not sure if you're nodding your head along with it. Is that protesting? You know, where do you draw the line? To, to give people a, a background of what you're talking about, you know, there, these were, you even had uh, state congressional representatives who were offended by this and trying to take that out. And yet you had the security folks there who were basically on this amazing power trip. They were going to shut down everybody, right? Yep, they were going to shut down everyone. I mean, you can't even go in there with a t-shirt on or... Uh... Yeah. Um, anything that a button, a button will get you arrested. I have uh, friends that have filmed numerous uh, events like that, and I should maybe forward some of those videos to you. But um, uh, regarding the the Snowden leaks, as important as they are, <clears throat> and what they what they document are things that we many in warriors have known for a long time. Yes, um, as important or possibly more important than those things is the psychops and. Um, <clears throat> I know uh, a few years ago, a um, uh, Washington Post reporter came out with uh, her expose, quote-unquote, um, uh, uh, top secret America. Her name is Dana Priest. And if you go to that website, you'll get a fancy flash animation of it. Well, a lot of those psych ops are targeted at American citizens. So you have psych ops officers um, at major media outlets. You have them... Uh, it print doesn't matter what it is. Oh yeah, and they're actively controlling what is let out. I call it steam venting. Some people call it um, gatekeeper operations. Um, and I went to one. Of, I actually went to see her speak with uh, a good friend, Dr. Jim Fetzer, who's a big fan of uh, Infowars.com reporters, Kurt Nimmo and Paul Joseph Watson. And we went to it, and we tried to ask some questions. And uh, we got shut down really quickly. He was talking about 9-11 being the reason for this big buildup. She wouldn't even touch it. <clears throat> and she actually got visibly shaken that someone who was so knowledgeable would mm -hmm. ask, dare ask her those questions. And my question to her, which she would not answer, was how many of those psychological operations are based or targeted in the United States? And she... Uh, wouldn't even take any questions from that three quarters of the audience after that. Yeah. So when when you talk about all the the leaks, that's great. We should also look at uh, psych ops and um, and all those. I think well, I sent and it's an entire spectrum. I mean, we have the documentary State of Mind, and they're talking about it. This this goes to the educational system. The educational system was set up 
to be a mind control operation. I mean, it's not just the more esoteric type of things, but they're getting more up front and more out in the open about it all the time. Cass Sunstein had a book called Nudge. And in it, he's talking about how they can use behavioral modification teams. And they actually took his, uh, his book and put it, they applied it in the UK and uh, had a lot of success in terms of manipulating public opinion. And we also see that the government has now repealed the Smith-Munt Act that was put into place, I believe it was 1948. It was right after the end of World War II. It was at the beginning of the Cold War. And when they created these propaganda organizations, Voice of America, Radio Free Europe, they were going, they did it, and some of the senators were very uncomfortable with the United States running some kind of a Joseph Goebbels type of propaganda organization. And understand that propaganda can be of two types. It can be white propaganda, which means that you're telling the truth, but you're not telling the whole truth. You're only telling good news. You're not, you're only telling part of the truth. Black propaganda would be uh, essentially telling people lies, outright lies, to get them to do what you want to do. So they were concerned, even though maybe Voice of America was just a white propaganda. They put restrictions in saying they were not going to allow that to be broadcast in the United States. Those restrictions have been struck with, of course, the NDAA, the place that we see, that we see, tend to uh, see all of the destructions of our freedoms and legislative uh, mechanisms be put now. It was the NDA 2013. They repealed the Smith-Munt Act. So now the U.S. government can use radio propaganda, and I'm not talking about, this is beyond NPR, this is more uh, NPR's propaganda, it's government funded, but this is uh, perhaps less subtle propaganda, they're going to start beaming that at us, and the UK is going to be privatizing their nudge programs, they're going to be getting corporate partners in kind of a kind of fascism and uh, propaganda uh, uh, union there, and the United States is now looking to do the same thing based on Cass Sunstein's ideas of propaganda. Uh, let's go to Sali in uh, FEMA Region 2. Did I pronounce your name correctly? Yeah, you did. Okay. Tell us, what, what's on your mind there? Uh, well, I just wanted to say uh, I'm a Muslim, you know, and uh, it, it, towards the end of Ramadan, you know, this is probably like one of the hardest Ramadans because the days are so long and it's so hot and all that. And I've noticed that uh, a lot of times what the... It seems like a lot of times whenever a government tries a false flag, they originally tried to go after, like, uh, their target group. Like, in this, in most recently the case was the Boston bombing. They tried to go after uh, libertarians and conservatives, etc. That didn't right. work. Right, So then, as a result, they just kind of, they uh, just kind of uh, defaulted to their standard, you know, um, mm -hmm. group that always, that everybody is always afraid of, which is Muslim. That's you know, right. Because it's so easy. It's so easy to hate. It's so easy to be afraid of a Muslim because I guess not that many people really know as much as they think they know about them. That's right. Absolutely. So, they're, the use, the, they're the useful enemy outside of the U.S. that they can always turn to. That's right. Oh, yeah. It's so convenient for them. And I've actually, I mean, uh, I've actually met several uh, Muslims who've been a part of or who were targeted by the FBI and uh, other groups who uh, actually were part of this weird psyop where they go into mosques, they go into churches, they go into different places and try and uh, infiltrate with uh, different, like, hired, hired uh, FBI informants, kind of like how you talked about before. Yes. And they would get paid money to basically stir up trouble. Yes. Uh, in that they would try and they would get paid money to try and uh, get as many people as possible to uh, basically rat on themselves or just talk about things that they don't even really mean. Absolutely. You, you know, know, in that special report that I, I just had, we didn't get to the part of it where we were talking about these uh, terrorist events. The FBI allowing 5,600 violent crimes, drug trafficking, corruption, but... We had a clip in there from Judge Napolitano where he pointed out that out of 20 terrorist events, 17 of them were organized and run by the FBI. And only and the other three, they didn't have anything to do with. It was citizens who shut it down. You know, you were eight times more likely to be killed by the police in this country who are really out of control than you are by a terrorist. We're going to be right back. Stay tuned.
tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. There is a false sense of security that the greatest economic crash since the Great Depression is over. But unemployment is still at a 20-year high, and until Americans are working again, the economy has not recovered. What is the smartest investment you can make? It's food. Having a supply of eFoods Direct 25-year shelf life food is your best investment for the troubled times today and the future. For 32 years, the folks at eFoods Direct have helped thousands take the trouble out of troubled times. So to celebrate our 32-year anniversary, get the best insurance possible with a special one-time offer. A two-month food supply for only $320 and free shipping. That's 352 servings of our newest and most popular award-winning recipes at less than a dollar per serving. The 25-year shelf life allows you to lock your food cost against inflation. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. The two-month supply is only available for a limited time. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Are we choosing our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? As we've moved through history, every great leader has had to understand the potential of information. Billions of dollars have been spent privately and publicly looking at how to tap into your psyche. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. When somebody obscures that feedback loop between you observing and testing it out and verifying it, they can take total control of your awareness. All of this is happening so fast, you need to be ahead of the game. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would not only endorse, but demand a war. Right oh, there's another one. Another plane just hit. State of mind, because there's a war on for your mind. Get your copy of State of Mind, the movie, at Infowars.com. And remember, every order at Infowarsstore.com receives a free citizen rulebook. With over 3,000 years of historic use, Pure Silver continues to be one of nature's most reliable and effective agents against fighting viruses, mold, fungus, bacteria, pathogens, and parasites. At Silver Lungs, we have developed a reliable and easy to use full production system for creating endless pure nano silver solutions right from the convenience and comfort of your home. Your self-produced nano-silver solutions can be applied topically to the skin. For many who are new to silver that wish to try silver for the first time, we offer a full line of consumables and cosmetics, such as our 2-ounce nano-silver nasal sprays, our nano-silver soap, and our most popular product, the all-natural nano-silver gel. Visit www.silverlungs.com to learn more about the industry-leading technology of the Silver Lungs system. That's www.silverlungs.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. He aligns himself with the truth, and it's time for you to choose a side. You're listening to Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. Alex is going to be joining us at the bottom of the hour. Right now we've got a, a couple of callers on the line that we're talking to. But before we get to that, you know, we've been talking about the government spying on us, mining our data, talking about ways that we can stop that, ways that we can get the government to obey the Fourth Amendment, to obey the Constitution. But, you know, even if you can't stop them from, even if you can't do it collectively, if you can't get them to obey the Constitution, you can still do something on your own. PrivateInternetAccess.com is one of our new sponsors. And listen to what you can get from them. They can encrypt internet connection. They can hide your IP address, providing anonymous browsing. 
provide firewall protection, which prevents data mining, provide uncensored access to the complete Internet, maintains no records whatsoever of your computer activity, and can connect up to five devices simultaneously with just one account, be used anywhere in the United States, anywhere with an Internet connection. That's privateinternetaccess.com. That's one of our new sponsors. Now, we're holding over on the line. We had uh, Sayla that was talking to us, uh, just Sayla was just talking to us uh, about uh, his concerns. Uh, was there something else that you wanted to say, Sayla? Yeah, just I know we have a lot of other callers to go to, but uh, I just wanted to quickly add that uh, for those who don't know, in Islam, the uh, the end game that the devil said quite explicitly in the Quran is that he's going to kill us all. That he like explicitly said before God, once uh, right before he was cast out of heaven, was that he his end game was to kill us all. And if you think about it, he's had thousands of years to develop this strategy where we get people fighting against each other and so suspicious of each other that they don't really see the bigger picture, which, as Alex talks about sometimes, and you guys talk about sometimes, is really just the end of all humanity. Elysium really is just, uh, you know, that movie really is just like uh, what they sell to some of the higher level uh, folks that, yeah, you're going to be part of this elite group. Oh, yeah. That's not yeah. true. That's right. The elite group is even going to die. All Everybody dies except for the devil. That's what the big... That's what the big thing is all about right now. Oh, yeah. Everybody dies except for him. Absolutely. As a, as a Christian, I would agree with that. I would agree it's a demonic attack. And I would see in these transhumanist type of ideas that we see coming from people like Ray Kurzweil, you know, he thinks that he's going to become God. He thinks he's going to achieve some kind of godlike immortality by merging with machines. I mean, this is not what we're saying. This is what he's saying. I mean, the guy is not only delusional but dangerous, but he is... Google's new science advisor. He is the guru of transhumanism, the guru of the futurists. And so he has the capability. If he's at Google, he has the capability to do a lot. He's got a lot of money, a lot of power, a lot of political connections behind him. Let's go next to Scott in California. Scott? Scott, are you there? You there? Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey. What's on your mind? Oh, good. Yeah, thanks for taking my call. And I wanted to also thank you and Alex for exposing these false flags because you know, it's false flags like 9-11 that have been used to justify the NSA spying, the TSA groping, the drone strikes, and everything else. That's also why, you know, I'm so excited that Ed Asner and Cynthia McKinney have endorsed the uh, RethinkNow11.org ad campaign. Uh, have you guys heard about that? No. Tell me about that. Yeah, so that's uh, the campaign that's raised over $200,000 to put huge billboard ads in Times Square in New York and many other cities around the world uh, this September. And they all have the same message. Did you know a third tower fell on 9 11? That's so right. It's designed to, to wake people up on a massive scale and create that kind of break from the false flag uh, slavery so that we can expose them and prevent them from happening in the future. Um, one other thing, real quick um, did, have you guys seen the, uh, the video of the fake uh, protest in Egypt? No, I haven't seen the one that you're talking about. No. no yeah, if, you, if, you go to, if you go to YouTube and type in Egyptian protesters, Take a violent protest for PR. You'll see a, a video, two minutes long, with, that's actually uh, e Egyptians from the Muslim Brotherhood staging a protest and using fake actors with fake blood and, and pausing for shots. It's pretty amazing. So you got to go oh, yeah. check that out. Oh yeah, yeah. Their propaganda is very sophisticated. Uh, thanks for telling us about that. You know, I interviewed uh, someone from the UK. His name is Tony Rook, and he had an interesting case where he was refusing to pay his BBC licensing fee. And uh, he's a documentary filmmaker, and his idea to get people to wake up there is to have a mock trial where the jury is a lot of retired judges and police officers and detectives, and to present to them the full evidence about Building 7 falling down in a controlled demolition when it wasn't even hit by a plane, to present that to them and to film it and put it out there as a documentary. I think that's a great idea. He's got a Kickstarter project. I think it's killingantifilms.co.uk, uh, something like that. But there's a lot of different ways to get the word out and a, a lot of information that just hasn't hit the streets. Let's go to uh, Jesse in Texas. Hey, Jesse, what's up? Hey, Jesse, are you there? Are you there? Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. What's on your hey, mind? Yeah. Weird interview. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I just wanted to a couple of things, but I had a couple of questions actually. Um, I'm originally from Austin. I live in Fredericksburg, but um, 
about the smart meters. Mm -hmm. rolling out. I'm wondering if you knew. My mom still lives there, and I've been telling her to opt out if she can. And I was wondering if you guys knew any information about how to. Yeah, there's some breaking news on that. We got a clip of uh, of a power plant that's being taken down in Florida. You know, the smart meter thing. People need to understand what's about what this is all about. It's got some health issues. It's got privacy issues, obviously. But it also has a big economic issue. And as we're looking at, if you're watching on the monitor right now, here's a video just this last week, Florida Power and Light. There you go. There's a power plant being taken down as they're building, uh, continually building new plants all the time in China. We're destroying our power plants. And if you go back and you look at the smart meter document from about 10 years ago, you'll see that in that document, they talked about how there was not going to be any growth. This is from the federal government. They're talking about how there's not going to be any growth in new power plants, that they have to find a way to manage the decline. The way they're going to manage that decline and still make the same or more money is with these smart meters. Now, what just happened in Austin is something that's going to happen in a lot of other towns. And that is they just had approval of a $60 million uh, expenditure. Just happened this last week. We had Dr. Laura Presley on earlier in the week on Monday. We interviewed her for the Nightly News. And she was talking about that. What they did, the $60 million, is not even for infrastructure. It's not even for putting in smart meters. It is simply a software licensing contract. You talk about a waste of money. $60 million for a five-year software contract. That company has got political connections, let me tell you. But one of the things they said in the, uh, in, in the city council, what, what the electrical company here in Austin said, was that they were going to use this extension of the software contract to get time of day use. And this is where they're going to stick you. They're going to charge you more when you use electricity during peak hours. That would be the time of day when you get up and go to work. Now, they've already done an experiment in Chicago and realized that it doesn't change anybody's consumption. That's the way they sell it to everybody. They say, well, we're going to put a premium on electricity that's used during a certain period of time. So people will adjust their usage patterns. Well, you can't adjust your usage pattern. If you didn't have to go to work at a particular time, there wouldn't be any traffic jams. It wouldn't be rush hour traffic. And for the same reason, you don't have the option to decide when you're going to use electricity. So this is simply a way to charge you more, to provide you less, as they shut down America's infrastructure, just like that power plant you saw being destroyed there. They're tripling the power here in Austin and just the, the power charges in just a couple of years. We're going to be right back. Alex Jones is going to be joining us right at, after the break. Dozens of diseases ranging from the common cold and flu to MRSA and pneumonia are all caused by infectious pathogens. Fortunately, a simple, safe, and effective alternative exists. Supernatural Silver is a new and vastly improved type of silver solution that is safe and extremely effective against 143 types of bacteria, both forms of viruses, mold and yeast, and a limited number of parasites. It can even purify water. Supernatural Silver comes in both liquid and gel for internal or external use. With over 180 scientific studies by independent universities, hospitals, research institutions, and nursing homes, Supernatural Silver is a powerful weapon in the fight against disease. To see how Supernatural Silver can give you and your loved ones protection and peace of mind, go to SupernaturalSilver.com. Use the promo code PROTECTED for 20% off and like us on Facebook. Protecting your home with a security system is a must. But when it comes to protecting your family, your home, and belongings, there's no need to sign a long-term contract. Listen, there is some real scum in the alarm business cashing in by locking you into long, punishing contracts. Not with Simply Safe Home Security. They're the good guys. You can trust Simply Safe to protect your family. Simply Safe was created by a Harvard Business School engineer, and it's revolutionary. You'll get 24-hour protection for just $14.99 a month. There are no hidden fees and no contracts. You'll save thousands. Plus, you're protected by their 100% money-back guarantee. Protect yourself against home invasions and break-ins. Order your Simply Safe system now and receive a wireless keychain remote, a $25 gift, free. So don't waste your time dealing with scum. Visit GetSimplySafe.com. 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 
There is a false sense of security that the greatest economic crash since the Great Depression is over. But unemployment is still at a 20-year high, and until Americans are working again, the economy has not recovered. What is the smartest investment you can make? It's food. Having a supply of eFoods Direct 25-year shelf life food is your best investment for the troubled times today and the future. For 32 years, the folks at eFoods Direct have helped thousands take the trouble out of troubled times. So to celebrate our 32-year anniversary, get the best insurance possible with a special one-time offer. A two-month food supply for only $320 and free shipping. That's 352 servings of our newest and most popular award-winning recipes at less than a dollar per serving. The 25-year shelf life allows you to lock your food cost against inflation. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. The two-month supply is only available for a limited time. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Calben Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soap that is triple concentrated and made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils. See them on the web, www.5starsoap.com or call 1-800-340-7091 for a free catalog and buy American-made products. Order the sampler, a one to two month supply or get a one to two year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. You're getting soap products twice as good as what you're using now. This is an amazing deal, and you will love the way real soap makes your skin feel. Call 1-800-340-7091 or visit www.5starsoap.com. Alex and his staff have used these earth-friendly, pure soaps for years. See them on the web, www.5starsoap.com or call 1-800-340-7091 for a catalog. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Leading a frontal assault on the lies of the New World Order, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. We've been taking calls, and we've got a very special caller on the line right now. It's Alex Jones. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Uh, David, I've been listening to you driving in from East Texas, where I just uh, buried my great uncle at a military funeral, a great service they uh, had there for him. And I'm uh, driving back into Austin, Texas, uh, via audio Skype right now. Am I coming through clearly to you? Yeah, sounds good. Fantastic. I started listening to you outside Waco on the great 590, uh, KLBJ 590 AM, and I uh, just wanted to be able to call in today and tell folks I would have been there, but again, I had to go to the funeral. But I tell you, uh, it is certainly left in good stead with you doing the show. What a great broadcaster David Knight is and what a great mind he has uh, that he brings to InfoWars Nightly News Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Uh, Central there at InfoWarsNews.com and the rest of our amazing team that we've built couldn't have done any of this without our am and fm affiliates out there supporting us over the years and uh, all the great stations that are picking us up and uh, now what in the top 20 of talkers uh for terrestrial radio number three in the nation for internet radio i don't really agree with that we're really number one according to all the real metrics but it doesn't matter the point is truth and liberty are popular uh, and th the idea of freedom and liberty is is rising so in the marketplace of ideas the hardcore info you hear on this broadcast is now becoming pretty much mainstream because we've been proven right and i just want to stress that again that when you hear us talk about something check it out for yourself we're not just up here half cocked uh, occasionally we make mistakes and when we do we'll tell you but we're not like mainstream media that's got an open agenda again david earlier last hour was talking about mainstream news admits they're going to get publicly tens of billions a year to engage in lies, propaganda, and deception. Now, this has been going on for a long time. Now the gloves are off, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I mean, I remember five years ago when Cass Sunstein, the regulations czar at the White House, said, hey, uh, we are going to infiltrate the real media. We're going to shut it down. We're going to cause infighting. We're going to uh, put out fake news. 
we are going to demoralize the American people. And I'm reading his Harvard dissertation paper, uh, and by dissertation he was a professor there, but something he was pushing to the president, and I was reading his Chicago Business School papers from before that, and then what he currently did at the White House, this is stuff written months before he was sent to the White House to run these operations of how he was going to demoralize the American people. I mean, this is enemy, open enemy type stuff. This is, this is what foreign enemies would do, but he represents a foreign globalist anti-liberty movement where these big mega corporations that are anti-free market want to get rid of our Bill of Rights and Constitution because it's a hindrance to these global corporate takeovers who again are monopoly men and are anti-free market. So I wanted to talk some about how they plan to take control and what we face uh, as a society because the propagandists are circling the wagons against us because we're starting to win but the empire is going to strike back. So as bad as things are, the good news is uh, Hillary Clinton admits they're losing the info war. A lot of other globalist publications, the big Brzezinski admitted that in his book that came out in January of this year. Uh, and they're telling their people, hey, you better get busy, you better take action. Nobody believes a word that we tell these folks. Well, guess what? There were, it had to be about nine or ten different members of the army that were there today for this uh, military uh, memorial service, a burial of my great uncle. And uh, guess what happened? I didn't even go over and talk to them as they were piling in the white vans uh, to drive away at the end of it after they had interred my great uncle. Uh, but I saw several of them as they drove by wave and say, hi, Alex, appreciate what you're doing. So there's an example. I'm in East Texas burying a family member and the guys are all basically looking out the windows and rolling down their windows and waving at me saying, hi, Alex, we appreciate what you're doing. I run into this half the time when I walk by somebody in the military, whether they be an officer, enlisted, whatever the case may be, non-commissioned officer, you name it. I run into this with the police. So that wasn't happening just five years ago. Well, so Alex, what's happening is, yep, go ahead. You had a great interview this last Friday with the father of one of the SEAL Team 6 members. And he was talking, I'm sure the military was tuned into that. Oh, yeah. And, and by, by the way, most of the families of those 22 dead heroes are going public saying the government blew up their helicopter and it was a setup. And remember, that happened two years ago, uh, two years ago and a week ago. And I, day one, went on air and said it was probably a setup. And then about a month later, talked to my Navy SEAL contact, who's currently serving. And the story he told me then that is on record on the radio archives and on the YouTube is exactly now what the Navy SEAL families are saying because it's what happened. Mm -hmm. See, so we don't just get up here and say we have sources. Take the fake terror alert. And that's where I was going next with people. Take the fake terror alert we covered the next hour. <clears throat> Thursday, I get sent that information by one of our sources in the Army. I'll just leave it at that. So. Then, it was about 8 o'clock at night, we're in a restaurant before I went to meet you and the rest of the crew for the late night showing of Elysium when it premiered late Thursday night. You know, they have that loophole where they can premiere a movie early if it ends at least past 12.01. So we were going to like the 10.50 or whatever, I forget. The point is, I'm in a restaurant like 8.30 at night, I get this alert, I've seen these DOD ordinance disposal alerts before, I know it's real, I even know the phone numbers on it, seen them before, but I still walk out in the parking lot, get in my car while the guys are eating dinner, call the number, they're upset that I have it, uh, check the number in Google, confirm, okay, yeah, it's, it's right, it's the military number, then I call my state police contact, and this is all in like 20 minutes while the guys are in there eating uh, enchiladas at Chewy's. I then go, I call Kurt Nemo, our writer, I say, here's the story, he records what I have to say, he puts it all, double checks it, puts out the document that 6th Street and that Austin, Texas, and, and, and 8th Street you know, is going to be bombed by Al-Qaeda sometime in the next few days. We're not saying that. The, the, the Pentagon is being told to tell police this. And so then uh, we put it out. Friday morning, the media has to report on it, and the Pentagon comes out and says, actually, that was a false report. No, what it really was, was them lying and saying, we're going to basically have martial law in downtown Austin the next few weeks, but it's only a drill, because it really is just a drill. 
then they lie to the military and the police and say it's a real threat, so they'll go ahead and go along with being under unconstitutional federal control and drilling them to condition the public for martial law. And there were checkpoints in downtown and other areas. And, you know, because the cops are thinking, okay, there's about to be a bombing. They even said what church was going to be bombed. I'm not going to say the name here on air, but the memo is up on Infowars.com. Now, the point is we broke that nationwide first. We broke uh, that not only are they closing down embassies to fearmonger, and that's even come out in the New York Times, but now they're saying Austin and Pasadena, California, as sister cities, are going to be attacked specifically. We come out Thursday night say, A, it's real, the memo is, but B, it's fake, it's not a real threat. Next morning, Pentagon comes out and tells KVUE News, KI, CNN, responding to us, giving us no credit, Yes, that's a real memo, but we made a mistake. There's not a real threat. There you go. And then they'll argue, oh, no, Alex, there is a real threat. Uh, and they just happen to have drills when these happen because we're trying to stop it uh, from taking place. That's actually true in a way. They'll put teams out there to confuse everybody when they actually have the patsy or the crazy group they're allowing to attack out there so that they can then tell everybody else involved, well, now you've got to be complicit with the feds and be quiet because, you know, the drill wasn't really a drill. Uh, we were trying to stop them, but now we can't tell the public. That's how they rope the cops in into a false narrative. So it's a corruption of the police. It's a corruption of the intelligence flow. It's a smokescreen muddying of the waters. So criminal elements in the government, not the whole government, but criminal elements in the government can stage and provocateur or, or wind up crazies. They've been caught hundreds of times winding up crazies to go do a real attack so they can sell robots to every city, $5 million, $3 million a piece. So oh, they can set up checkpoints, so they can federalize police, so they can take over our society. Absolutely. You know, if it's a false flag attack or if it's a real memo, I would think they would want to get that out there so that if, they, if there is some real threat, they could shut it down. And we want to get it out there in case it's a false flag. We want to shut it down. Absolutely. When we come back, I'll briefly hit Elysium, let you take some final calls. All right. Dozens of diseases ranging from the common cold and flu to MRSA and pneumonia are all caused by infectious pathogens. Fortunately, a simple, safe, and effective alternative exists. Supernatural Silver is a new and vastly improved type of silver solution that is safe and extremely effective against 143 types of bacteria, both forms of viruses, mold and yeast, and a limited number of parasites. It can even purify water. Supernatural Silver comes in both liquid and gel for internal or external use. With over 180 scientific studies by independent universities, hospitals, research institutions, and nursing homes, Supernatural Silver is a powerful weapon in the fight against disease. To see how Supernatural Silver can give you and your loved ones protection and peace of mind, go to SupernaturalSilver.com. Use the promo code PROTECTED for 20% off and like us on Facebook. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet, the highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease? It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. 
rates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Every three seconds, someone becomes a victim of identity theft. We also hear news stories every day about the NSA spying on U.S. citizens. It is now more important than ever to protect yourself and your information on the web. PrivateInternetAccess.com is a virtual private network service that can encrypt your internet connection while hiding your IP address. Their service also provides firewall protection in order to prevent data mining and unwanted exposure. They keep no records of your web browsing history. PrivateInternetAccess.com is an American company that understands you need to protect your inalienable rights. Private internet access does not even log any of your traffic, period. Privacy is their number one policy. You can use their service anywhere with an internet connection. And with one account, you can protect up to five devices at the same time. Go to privateinternetaccess.com right now in order to secure the privacy of you and your loved ones. Don't wait and allow you and your family to become victims. Visit privateinternetaccess.com today. Coast to coast. Direct from Austin, you're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We are on the march. The empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight here in the studio. We have Alex Jones on the road. He had to attend a funeral out of town today and... He's joined us by phone, and we were just talking just before the break about what transpired this last week here in Austin. You know, there's been a worldwide terror alert to get people afraid and uh, turning to their government to allow them to just do whatever they wish to us. We had a real memo that was leaked here in Austin talking about a terror threat, and the government responded to it and said, well, that was a real memo, but the threat is not real. And uh, basically uh, saying <laughs> that it wasn't really a threat, and Alex was just talking about that. Alex, was there anything else you wanted to say about that? Absolutely, and then move on to Elysium. It's just this. I mean, we are catching them in these fake alerts, and my military source, my police source as well, basically said the same thing. They said even if there was a real threat of, say, a bombing that was going to kill five people, you've got a better chance of dying in their computer models on I-35 driving to Dallas and back, oh, like I did today, basically, than I do by being killed by terrorists. So why is our entire way of life changing. I mean, in World War II, we lost hundreds of thousands of people. We didn't get rid of our liberties. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they, in the Civil War, we lost 800,000 or something, 700,000. We didn't get rid of our liberties after that was over. Uh, I guess I mean, they should have showed... Ridiculous. They should have showed us pictures of Adolf Hitler and said, uh, okay, now we're going to suspend the Bill of Rights. We're going to take away the Constitution because Hitler's pretty scary. <laughs> Absolutely, folks. Uh, they have dumbed down the public. They've taken the Constitution, Bill of Rights out of schools, and they're replacing it with their anti-human agenda. And now I want to just segue uh, into propaganda. Now, why do I do movie reviews, and why do I talk about things when, when a film has a $400 million uh, you know, budget like Elysium or $350 million? I've seen different numbers. It's because it's on record that most of these movies have an agenda and have a globalist agenda, and you can find out from them what the agenda is. Now, we had a story on DrudgeReport.com uh, Friday, because Matt Damon uh, and also the director, the South African director, came out and said, it's a conspiracy theory, uh, you know, this is not political, this is not for immigration reform and open borders, how dare anyone say that? Well, Kurt Nemo found where a month before, they had basically admitted all of this and that this was a social agenda. So it also shows their incredible disdain that uh, not just Matt Damon and the director, but also Jodie Foster and others went on TV and made fun of people saying that there was a political agenda in this film. Well, let me tell you what the political agenda is. America is Elysium. That's the analogy. And if America won't take in the giant 
third world populations of the planet, then you're racist and bad. And I was sitting there with you and my uh, other crew and friends, and my buddy, Shane, looks over, and he says, how do you want, much do you want to bet when this starts that America is Elysium, basically, and that all the bad guys on the space station aren't just white, but they're blonde-haired, blue-eyed? Ladies and gentlemen, every bad guy in the movie is a white person. The only person on the space station that doesn't want to kill innocent people is Indian. And again, my issue is I'm sick of t turning on MSNBC and being told white people are inherently bad. I'm sick of hearing the establishment do this and it's absolutely improper and wrong if somebody made a movie where all the black people were the bad guys and were doing horrible murders and things i would stand against it and i would say that it is incredibly disgusting uh, out of control propaganda and that's just one layer uh, of this film's propaganda i did some reviews kind of haphazardly last friday before i went home uh, i want to do a proper review of every level of this because it is so over the top that, that these people who have bodyguards put out these anti-gun movies, other ones, or these people that have, uh, you know, uh, bodyguards and their kids go to the best armed guard private schools like Matt Damon, but then he's against you being able to have your kids uh, go to a private school. It is so hypocritical. You know, I'll guarantee you if there was some space station with life extension technology off-world, the public isn't going to be told about it in the future. And I'll guarantee you there's going to be rich Chinese, there's going to be rich Germans, there's going to be rich Americans, there's going to be rich Israelis, there's going to be rich Africans, there's going to be rich New World Order. How dare them imply that inequity has to do with white people when I'm sick of the West being bashed, all the things the West has developed, all the literature, all the art, the Magna Carta, the basic freedoms that became the model of the world. Just because the West has been overrun by globalists and is corrupt now doesn't mean I want to go live, say, in some places in Asia where you get off the plane over there, folks, they karate chop you. The police do when they want you to move along in a line. You can just be disappeared and executed. There's no other country I can go to where they just open up the red carpet like America does. America is the most open society, the American people, the most giving, uh, the, the, the most charity, the most hardworking. I don't care what color you are and I am sick and tired of Hollywood and the real elite trying to get black white Hispanic fighting with each other to distract from the offshore mega banks the zero zero you know the point zero 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 two six or whatever it is it isn't the one percent it's the tiny trillionaire class the people that control trillions are worth hundreds of billions that are leveraging the entire system against the general public who are shutting down our power plants who are paying with taxpayer money to ship General Motors to China that's the new world order that's agenda 21 that's the real threat and I go see this film designed where every white person is the bad guy except for Matt Damon because he sacrifices himself and he's really from Mexico and you know has a you know Hispanic last name and where all the white people are the devil I am sick of it and the globalists want us at each other's throats and it is thoroughly disgusting I I want you to have some final comments on this. I know the broadcast is almost over. It's just that I've, I've, I've protested the Ku Klux Klan. I've, I mean, that's all online. People have seen that dozens of times over the years because it's an outrageous group trying to make things about race. And the globalists want to dumb down the debate where everything is about race instead of about real uh, discrimination, offshore banks above the law, tax exempt, stealing $85 billion a month in QE unlimited, uh, the globalist being tax free offshore, the globalist having diplomatic immunity, the globalist having real life extension technologies that they're not allowing to be deployed, uh, the globalist bringing in a cashless society control grid, the idea that transhumanism will empower you and will allow you to be elite. That's how Ray Kurzweil says they're going to sell everybody putting these technologies in themselves when just like a cell phone, it's got back doors and is meant to enslave you. Again, I'm not against technology. I'm against who controls the architecture of it. So you see this film. It has so many incredible messages, but the bottom line is racially identify that white people are bad, racially come in for socialism and communism, and bring down America. It is unbelievable, and it's what's pumped 24 hours a day, and it is outrageous. It's as bad as Birth of a Nation by E.B. Griffith. I mean, it is unbelievable, and I am sick of it, and we have our video reviews of at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. You can take the show out, David. Great job, and I'll be back live tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, for the weekday transmission. God bless you.
Thanks, Alex. Yeah, I got to agree with that. I think it was one of the most obvious pieces of uh, political propaganda I've ever seen. And there's been some pretty ham-fisted stuff that's come out of Hollywood and just out of the movies in general. I mean, it, not even Hollywood. It was the Russians who really got this down to a fine art. Uh, Alex mentioned D.W. Griffith's Birth of a Nation. That, that was something that really made the Ku Klux Klan acceptable, really uh, caused a, a great surge with the Ku Klux Klan. Movies have an effect. The Russians used this as well. You had Sergei Einstein, Eisenstein, who said uh, who had the uh, strike. It was a, a movie that uh, basically uh, kind of you know uh, put forth their political agenda. He also had uh, the battleship Potemkin. There's been this type of thing throughout the history of film. Film is a very effective way at persuading people, at propagandizing people. It gets you not only, not so much on an intellectual basis as on an emotional basis because you get tied in to a particular person. They were very specific, very scientific about how the Russians did that. They even created the Franklin School, which is a way to bring that kind of propaganda to Hollywood. And they did that in Hollywood. There was a very interesting story that just came out in The Hollywood Reporter uh, about a week, two weeks ago, where they were talking about the influence that Hitler had in Hollywood prior to the war. It was a very long time before Hollywood came after the Nazis. And of course, they have vilified them as the archetypal villain, and they should be vilified. But for the longest time, they would handle them with kid gloves. Why? Because they would threaten to boycott the entire studio if there was content in a film that they didn't like. So they had that kind of control, and we see that kind of control still being exercised. The Chinese government came in and caused Red Dawn 2 to have an entire year delay because they had to change the villains from Chinese villains to North Korean villains because the Chinese government didn't like that. The Chinese did exactly the same thing last year that the uh, that Hitler and his uh, propagandists did to Hollywood back in the 1930s as Hitler was coming to power. There were people who had screenplays, who had stories talking about Hitler's rise to power. Sometimes they did it obliquely. They wouldn't mention him directly. They always do it obliquely. That's what makes Elysium and other films like that so powerful is because they do it as a parable. They do it as a visceral experience. They play on your emotions. Well, that's it for today's show. We're going to be back tomorrow. And uh, stay tuned. Alex Jones Show will be back at noon tomorrow Eastern, 11 Central Time. Calben Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soap that is triple concentrated and made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils. See them on the web www.5starsoap.com or call 1-800-340-7091 for a free catalog and buy American-made products. Order the sampler, a one to two month supply.